We are writing about our Roman description. Here were some examples. The arena is hard and rocky. Not smooth at all. It's loud and deep. It was giant. There were about 50,000 Colosseum seats there. Sand above the arena. There were, there's sand above the arena floor. The gladiator wave had a black helmet amid mohawk, blue pants and a red shield and a very sharp spear. A shield and a wooden leg and one leg guards and a little and and a, and a little and tag and and arm pads and a a and leg and arm pads. The massive disgusting arena is full of crowds yelling and jumping up and down excitedly waiting for the big battle to begin. It was a, it was a boiling hot day and the, small, the smell was horrible because all the people are sweating heavily. The, the first they came out, they had big scars on, with dark red blood on their faces. The first gladiator was called Maximus and he was so powerful. And the second one was called Corvus and he was so fearsome. Maximus used a sword, shield and a helmet. Corvus looked, looked fierce and he used a spear, shield and a helmet. They looked down at each other fiercely. There were scary tigers and fierce lions coming and Maximus threw Corvus on the ground angrily. Then he held his sword above him and the emperor did, turned his thumb down but suddenly Maximus did not kill Corvus and so the emperor got angry and killed Maximus angrily. It was 41 AD that emperor wanted a two powerful gladiators in Rome to fight each other. In the arena the crowd were screaming because they were excited of the amazing fight. The two gladiators came out. The one in red was Maximus. He was furious and fearsome. The one in blue was Intergentimus. Intergentimus was heroic and strong. The tiger came out, scratched Maximus on the shoulder. Maximus hit Intelligentimus with his sword. The sword was in Intelligentimus' ankle. Intelligentimus fell to the ground. The emperor put his thumb down. Suddenly, he refused to kill Intelligentimus, so the emperor killed Maximus because the emperor was angry. Sand was blowing everywhere, making it harder to see in the boiling hot coliseum. The crowd hungrily cheered on their stone seats for the gladiators to start fighting in the sandy arena. The first gladiator wore a blue uniform and had a silver blue helmet with dark blue feathers on top. He wore a metal silver armour on his arm and legs. He also had a long knee pad the colour gold. He carried a long pointy silver metal spear and a tiny small golden golden shield. His name was Caesar. The small the second gladiator wore a gold helmet with patterns on top of the helmet with scarlet coloured bristles. He wore a fiery red uniform and wore, like Caesar, a silver metal armour on his right leg and left arm. He had a golden knee pad. In his hand he held a scarlet rectangular shield with silver feathers and an iron sharp pointy sword. 
His name was Corvus. At, at last, the Emperor Nero announced for the battle to start. They faced each other in fury. Their weapons started to clamp together as they fought. Then suddenly, a tiger appeared and pounced on Caesar and scratched him, making it easy for Corvus to kill Caesar. Caesar yelped in pain. The crowd turned to the emperor. Slowly, he stood up and turned to stub down, which meant Corvus had to kill Caesar. He raised his spear over Caesar's head regretlessly and struck Caesar's head. Warm blood dripped from Caesar's head. Then Caesar lay still on the ground dead. The crowd cheered happily for Corvus. In the mighty arena, people sat quietly on the bench, waiting for the epic battle to start. As the emperor came to announce who was fighting who, the crowd began to scream and jump en energetically. Gladiators. Some gladiators still have a scar from powerful battles. The gladiators won so quickly as if like there are a shooting star in the sky. The gladiators are so strong, muscular, furious when in, the, in a battle, they're heroic. Before they begin, they look at each other fiercely. Battle. The clanking of the sword sounds like two cars crashing into each other. Suddenly, a trap, door's open, a trap door opens and a predator leaps out and scratches a gladiator on one leg. When the battle is finished, the loser has to be judged if he gets to live or not. But the battle is not finished because both gladiators are strong and powerful, so it's a fierce fight. The end.